Welcome to Texibo.com. Please click the subscribe button and click the notification button to receive important updates. In this video, I will show you how to install Microsoft SQL Server and SQL Server Management Studio in your local system or server. Before we dive into the installation, SQL and SQL Server Management Studio is different. SQL Server equals database engine. SQL Server Management Studio equals key administration tool for working against the SQL Server engine. Search for SQL Server Download, then click on the first link. I will share the link in the description. This will open the official SQL Server Download page. Microsoft provides two specialized free editions to work on MS SQL Server. Developer it has all feature which MS SQL Server offers, but we cannot use it in production. From the learning perspective, is it an ideal candidate to start? Express. This is also a free version, but with a limited set of features with no business intelligence applications. Both versions we can use it in our local server. Here we will select the developer edition for installation. Click on download now and install. Choose the basic version by clicking on the basic option, as it has all default configuration required to learn MS SQL. Once the location is selected, click the install button. Wait until the download is complete. Once the download is complete, the system will initiate installing developer edition. Once the installation is completed successfully, you can see this screen. From this screen, you need to note down instance name. This is by default labeled as MS SQL Server. Also, the connection string is important. We need this connection string for software development. The connect now button will open a separate command line window for connection testing of what we have just installed. The system will run by default statement to confirm that we can connect to the new MS SQL Server instance successfully. Also, we can customize the installation. Next, we need to install SSMS. This is IDE which will take us to the Microsoft SSMS download link. Follow the installation procedure to install the SSMS. If you already installed the SSMS you can close this window. Now open SQL Server Management Studio. Below connect to server screen will appear. Server name we already copied while installing MS SQL Server. Server type. This is an option to select one out of four available MS SQL services options. We will be working on the database engine for creating and working with database. Other server type includes analysis, reporting and integration services. Server name. This is server's name where MS SQL Server is installed and needs to establish a connection with that server. Generally, we use the server name as machine name instance. Here instance is the name given to SQL Server instance or SQL Server installation. Authentication. This is defaulted to Windows Authentication if we use Windows Authentication during SQL Server installation. Else, if we select Mixed Mode, Windows Authentication and Windows Authentication then Authentication will be defaulted to SQL Server installation. Username Password. If Authentication is selected other than Windows Authentication like SQL Server installation, then these two fields will be required. Click on Connect. Now you will be connected to Data Management Studio. To create a new database, right click on the database, then click a new database. Name your database and click OK. To create a new table inside our database, right click on table, select new table. Create your table with column and data type. Right click and save the table with the table name. Now you can add data to the table. In this way you can create procedures and functions also. To create a connection string for our database, it's an easy process. Just replace it with your server name and database name. If you are created with authentication just give username and password too. Thank you for watching Texibo.com. Please like, subscribe and comment your queries.